Hey there, Atocha Dave. I normally start off these YouTube videos with showing you pictures of me and Mel Fisher at the dive ladder. Sometimes I'm showing you pictures of me bringing up sunken treasure from the Atocha when I was a diver with Mel Fisher's treasure salvers living on the bookmaker. There's four or five other videos on YouTube right now, all under the Atocha Dave uh, videos. So if you wanna see those pictures, please visit any of those other videos. Today's video is gonna focus in on, however, Atocha coins that are currently for sale. Today is a rather historic day. Actually, it's the day after. July 20th, 1985, the Atocha 400 million, which today is worth a billion, was found and recovered. This is the 36th anniversary of the finding of the Atocha. Coins I'm going to be showing you today are absolutely skyrocketing in price. I believe that next year, 2022, which is going to be the 400th anniversary of the sinking of the Atocha, Atocha coins are going to be the most expensive they've ever been. So I don't pitch these as investments, but they are certainly going up in price. Um, again, it's amazing. These are 400-year-old treasure coins that were salvaged in 1985. And even salvaged in 1985, they're now 36 years old from the date they were salvaged. So real neat stuff. And of course, we all know about the Atocha. Most everybody wants one. I have a coin that fits everyone's needs. I get calls all the time saying I want to buy an Atocha coin. They ask for a specific thing. Today, I have at least one of every type of thing that people request. Uh, those requests could be a larger or smaller coin. Those requests could be a rare coin versus a non-rare coin. Those requests could be a... Uh, dated coin versus a non-dated coin, whatever you want, I have. It varies on the price. That's what changes with, with each of those different type requests. So with that all in mind, let's get started and uh, we'll go by these one by one. If you are interested, this is a first come first serve. I was thinking of doing this live on Facebook and literally we would have the phone ringing if we were live on Facebook. And if a person buys a coin, uh, they send the money PayPal, they're the new owners of that coin. They're one of a kind. I don't have two of the same coins, obviously. So if you're really interested and see something you like, now's the time to order it and get it. My phone number is the same. It hasn't changed in 15 years. 702. 374-2148. Again, that's 702-374-2148. Okay, a toad to Dave. Let's get started. The first one. This is a certificate that most of you are not familiar with and have not seen. And that's because it's a rarer certificate from 1982 prior to the Atocha mother load being found. These coins are numbered SR, in this case, 1607. They actually have a photo of the coin, a photograph with a seal over it. And these are called SR coins because they're state recovered from the state of Florida. They were seized by the state of Florida. They were returned to Mel Fisher. Thus, he could then sell them. He could not sell them up until 1982, even though he had had them and they were found in 1975. These coins were the first 1,500 coins that were found on the Atocha. They are the early 1975 quicksands found coins. Super desirable, super rare. People want these very much. 
So there's your certificate. I'll show you the actual coin. They did not shine these up and make them very pretty and beautiful for jewelry at that time because they were just finding them and they were historic artifacts. So the goal here is to have a historic artifact coin. This obviously is a beautiful representation of a shipwreck Atocha coin. So there's the front, there's the back, found in the quicksands in 1975. I think on this one you can actually see the assayer, which is actually right over here, and it's assayer T. So Poda Z, assayer T shown, and it comes with its early Atocha Treasure Salvers original flip an ID tag coin, um, ID holder in, inside. Okay, that's the first coin right there. This one, $1,695, $1,695. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is the type certificates that you are familiar with. Many of you have seen these. These are your 1985, 1986 certificates. And just an interesting note, by the way, Mel Fisher signed his name on all of these. They were copies in the sense that they, he couldn't sign his name personally on 160,000 coins but he could sign as Mel Fisher. In the first coin that I showed you in the certificate, he had to sign Melvin A. Fisher because legally that's his legal name. And being that he had just been awarded the Atocha treasure in court, he had a sign with the A. These are the only certificates that show the Melvin A. Fisher signature. Just a little fun fact. With that in mind, we're looking at the second coin. This one is a two reale. It is a smaller coin in the sense that it was not a piece of eight like the one that was just shown. So in this example, I'm holding it this way for a moment just to show you, it's basically larger than a US nickel. If you were to bezel this coin and put a bezel around it, it would be even slightly larger in millimeter size, and it would certainly pop and look absolutely gorgeous if bezeled. Here's the front of the coin. This has assay or T clearly visible. Two real coins have a thousand dollar premium on them in Key West. I do not charge that thousand dollar premium. Here's the back side of the two real. The front is stronger in that it's a full shield and you can see the assay or T. And just to give you an idea, when people look at this coin, whether they're impressed or not, these coins when bezeled look like this. So believe me, if you're considering a coin for wearing, don't look at a coin when it's like this. Look at a coin when it's finished and it's bezeled. They are absolutely gorgeous. And the verbiage is they pop when they're bezeled. So here's an example of a coin that I wear. This is another two real, a larger sized assay or B coin but this one with the bezel around it would also be a perfect size, not too heavy, not too large, not too small. It's absolutely what everybody uh, is seeking. So this two real assayer T, 1895, right here with certificate, Atocha. Next coin. Again, we have coins for all different price ranges, for all different needs. 
This is generally for a person who wants an Atocha coin, is on a very limited budget, and is looking for a representational coin from the Atocha. They are not gonna get the details shown on many of these other coins, but again, you're also not gonna be paying the price that you would have to pay for the other coins with such detail. This particular coin comes with certificate and ID card, as shown here. I'm gonna take it out of the flip. I love the pitting on it. That is absolute verification of 400 years of sea salvage. So here is a Atocha, $695. Today you can go on eBay. I think I'm partly to blame. Everybody puts a coin on eBay now for $4,600. $3,800, $4,200. They don't know what they're doing. They just think that's the price. There are Atocha coins that are that cost. However, their coins being just like this should not be priced at $4,200. So this coin properly priced by me is $695. This is a four real denomination. A four real denomination is again, that perfect size coin that people look for to put inside a mounting. As you can see here, it's similar in size. It's not too big, not too small. These are the coins, the sizes that people look for. If you wore this, you should be very proud. You have a beautiful Atocha coin and it could be at the price point that you're looking for to get in at. There's only one that's that inexpensive. The next coin in 40 years of doing this is one of the tricks of the trade that we look for, i.e. I'm gonna give a little Astra, a little ding if you will, this is a high consideration coin in the sense that if you want value, this does not happen often. So here's your certificate for your coin. Again, these have certificates, they have barcodes, everything is what you're looking for. They're coming direct from an Atocha diver. Obviously I've been dealing in these in 40 years, I know what they are. So what makes this so fantastic is it's an eight real, it's on a smaller planchet, which gives it that large size, but not being too large. But what makes this a Astra coin is if this coin has this shield and that same quality back of the coin, you have a grade one coin that sells for $3,200 plus. However, what people should consider is, if this is what's gonna be showing when you're wearing the coin around your neck, the part of the coin that's laying on your chest unseen by anybody is this side right here. This obviously is not as strong a strike as what was just shown in terms of the shield side so who cares they're not seeing this they're seeing this absolute deep struck grade one shield there is a clear assay or t on this absolutely gorgeous by the way it's a full coin good weight over 20 grams this one is an absolute stunner. And at the price of $15.95, this is the coins that they're putting on eBay for $4,200. $15.95. I actually had a gentleman a few days ago ask me, why do I sell my coins so low? I didn't have an answer for that. Quite frankly, 
If you want to pay me more for them, then please feel free to do so. My daughter would appreciate it. I'm sure she wants a, another pair of Nike sneakers. The next one is also able to be bought for the budget-minded in the sense that it's a gorgeous coin. It also allows you to do exactly what I just spoke of. One side, the shield, is absolutely gorgeous with the most clear PB, Potosi, Assayer B, which is a rare assayer on the Mel Fisher Treasures website. These go for over three to four thousand dollars as a rare assayer. This coin, if worn and bezeled, would look beautiful, but against your chest, you're not going to have that same quality. The back has been corroded by the ocean after 400 years of submergence. This, by the way, is also very interesting in terms of owning this type of coin. What happens with these coins is the following. Where my hand is, the coin was in a treasure chest and it was up against other coins. This side being the outside coin of the treasure chest was most affected when this was removed from the treasure chest and the incrustation was taken off, when it came up like that, this side, thus being up against another coin and protected, shows that grade one, two-ish beautiful shield with that absolute clear PB. This coin is $895. There are no $600 and $895 Atocha coins on the market today. You are seeing them here for the first time in quite a while, this opportunity. The only reason this coin is $895 is along the way, somewhere, I do not have that certificate. However, you do have with this coin the following. You have its ID card by Treasure Salvers. What you're looking for when you have an ID card without a certificate is it's showing Mint Mark, Poda Z, Assayer, B. That matches up to the coin. That's a good indication that that's all good. Then you want to check the weight of the coin, 15.2 grams. This is 15.2 grams. It all matches. This is an Atocha coin with its ID barcode as well. This particular coin, $8.95. If you love it, let me know. This coin here, I have a gentleman asking me to please hold it for him. I respected his wishes. I have done that for quite some time. However, I need to show the coin. And if somebody is interested in it, he agrees as well that let it go if I can't come through uh, in the time that I would be able to. This coin with its certificate, as shown here, with its barcode ID, as shown here, everything included, is absolutely a gorgeous grade one quality cross. The thing that makes this a rare coin, it's Ballesteros, who was a known assayer. If you notice these X's over here, around the border of the coin, other Atocha coins do not have X's around the border. If you look on this coin where the PB was, you see those round dots shown over here? They all have round dots. He distinguished himself from another family member who was also Assayer B. He's the only one who put these X borders on his coins. They are extremely rare and extremely sought after. 
Ballastero, Grade 1, Cross with Lions and Castles, and some of the deepest struck Xs around the border of any X coin I've ever seen before. 1595 for this coin right here. If you call me, it's very simple to describe. It's the only X border coin I have. You just say, I want to buy the X border coin. Back in its flip it goes. Remember I said we got different coins for every different person? Here's the next category of coins that this particular one falls into. This one, if you look at the certificate, says right over here, the mint, not the assayer, the mint is Mexico. The assayer is D. This is a Mexico Atocha coin. I believe it to be from the division and provenance of David Paul Haran or David Haran, the attorney for Treasure Salvers from the early 70s. He beat the U.S. government in the Supreme Court. The reason for that is the coin is said to be a grade four. When I show it to you, anybody is welcome to show me a coin that they have, which is a grade four, which is of this quality, because that certainly is not a grade four coin. That's a grade one Mexico. Out of all the Atocha coins found, 160,000 plus of them, I believe it's 3% were minted in Mexico. All the other coins were minted in Potosí. A coin from Mexico, rare in this condition, grade one quality, is and praised by treasure salvers for $9,800. I sell this coin for $49.95. If you wanted to put a bezel around this, it would be absolutely gorgeous they have the most magnificent crosses on a Mexican coin. They're very different, obviously, from the Potosí coins that you see all the time. This is the classic Potosí cross, very simple cross. Look at the flares at the end of the Mexico coins. They're very distinguishable, super rare, super valuable. Super provenance. I love this point at the bottom of the shield as well. Some of the Mexicos don't have that. This one does. Uh, I need to find out why, but that's gorgeous, the detailing. And most importantly, by the way, a clear OMD. OM signifying Mexico. D is your assayer. Provenance believed to be David Horan, $49.95. Love this coin. Next one up is a absolutely gorgeous four reale coin, a thousand dollar premium in Key West. Your four reals and your two reals, thousand dollar premiums. The reason again, this might be, for some, too large of a coin to wear around their neck, as shown here. For others, that's the perfect size coin to wear. But for many, this is the size coin that they prefer to wear around their neck right over here in their bezel. That's your choice. As for the coin itself, for reale, I'll show it to you uh, so that you can see it up close. It's a grade two coin on the certificate. It is actually Assayer M, which is a rare Assayer. Assayer M produced the first dated coins from the Atocha. Coins before this gentleman being the Assayer were never dated. 
So this is the first of the dated coins, Assayer M shown here, grade two, four real coin, 29.95. Assayer two, I'm sorry, Assayer M, four real, grade two, right there, 29.95. I see a similar coin like this on eBay for $4,600 as we speak right now. You could look it up for yourself. $29.95. Next coin. Actually, let's have a little fun and not show a coin for just a second. This is absolutely fascinating. This is a 1715 fleet ring piece, high carat gold ring piece. We've been in contact with a gentleman who is familiar with the inscription and the engraving that is on this ring. And we believe these show different dynasties of either Chinese or Japanese markings. And again, this could go back to the 1600s, 1500s. These pieces could have been made 100 or 70 years before the sinking of the 1715 fleet. The most amazing thing about this is it's a cut piece, meaning somebody took shears, chisel, scissor, whatever it was back in 1715, and cut this gold. And although you think this is a small piece of gold, gold was very valuable back then, and even a small piece like this was very valuable back then. It archeologically is more valuable than if it was a complete ring. We have many samples of complete rings. The question you have to ask yourself is, why did they cut this ring? Was it found by a salvage person in a salvage camp and they were breaking and cutting the ring to divide amongst the different people, thus pirate treasure booty being split up? Don't know the reason. It was found as a piece. This particular one comes with its original Cobb Coin Company, Mel Fisher's Treasures, Everything stamped, photographed right there. Perfect provenance. Really, really high archaeological interest. Gold ring piece description right here. Cobb Coin Company right there. This was given the artifact number CC86. 067A, which means it was probably found in 1986. Moving on, coming into the home stretch here. This particular coin, I sometimes try to avoid my personal feelings, but some coins I actually don't want to sell. This is one of them, but if you pay the price, I'll sell the coin. So this particular one here, eight real, larger coin, but not too large, perfect, absolute fine description of an eight real. I love its symmetry. I love, it looks like an ocean worn coin, which it is. There's the shield, there's the front, over 21 grams, good weight coin. The shield side is superior on this coin, right there. But what makes this coin so beautiful and so much of interest to me is the following. It was actually sent to an investor and it comes with this envelope filled with all the paperwork. And this was the result of perhaps a person investing $10,000 with Mel Fisher's treasure salvers. 
Then the items were sent certified mail and they received their Atocha coin or their Atocha gold bar or whatever they received. But there's actually a letter in here saying, you know, basically for your investment, here is a coin in return in lieu of your, your monies. This is kind of historic. This is how Mel Fisher underwrote his treasure salvage operation by selling investments uh, under Hill Associates in New Jersey. And this is the example of what it looked like. They received their certified envelope, their certificate was inside, and their coin was in there, or a box if it was obviously a larger item. But I love the history of this being a certified coin with the Treasure Salvers 200 Green Street address showing that it was sent to that investor. Pretty neat coin. Uh, it's actually the only one I've seen that's still complete with all its paperwork. Kind of like that one. Because of that, that one is $23.95. $23.95 comes with all the original paperwork right there as shown. Last coin. There was a group that received a chest of coin. Mel Fisher obviously was selling his coins. That's why it's treasure salvers with Mel Fisher's name and a stamp right there. He couldn't prevent a person or a company who received a chest of coins from selling a tocha coins. Although I'm sure if he could, he would love to have blocked them. What they did was they had a professional take all the coins out of a chest. The incrustations were removed. Then the coins were sold. This particular group made a really fantastic presentation. So rather than just receiving a certificate like this, which is a piece of paper, it comes in this small envelope and it's called the Atocha Silver Coin. It has the history of the coin and then to its authenticity, obviously certificate of authenticity saying this is a treasure coin recovered uh, and certified as of 1986 by Mel Fisher's Treasure Salvers. I've seen a couple of these before, but I've never seen one that has this quality coin on the inside. This is often a low grade coin in these envelopes because they were just selling coins to people to own a piece of the Atocha. They weren't concentrating on putting great or better or rarer coins in there. This one is a grade two basically grade one quality coin. It's one of the finest I've ever seen inside of the Atocha Silver Coin Treasure Edition. So there's your shield. And if you are a collector, which I know many of you are, of double struck coins, look at that, boom, boom, boom. That's a double struck picked up the hammer and the anvil, hit it with the cross side, hit it again. Absolutely gorgeous coin, would make a beautiful bezel as well. This particular coin, if I had mentioned, 1895, the Atocha treasure coin, grade one, 1895. Comes with its flip barcode as well as shown there. Last but not least, if some of you are interested, we have a Tocha pottery available. These are pieces of pot shard recovered from the Nuestra Senora de Atocha. These are lots of fun. I've got quite a few of these. They come with certificates of authenticity, so you could get yourself a pot shard from the Atocha. If you're interested in a 
musket ball from the Atocha. Here are two shown. Comes with certificates of authenticity. Atocha musket balls, Atocha pot shards, and this last artifact over here, rather interesting. This is what incrustation looks like when it comes off of an Atocha cannonball. And when I turn it over, if you can see the crevice, that crevice is where the Atocha cannonball lie. That's the inside round shape of the cannonball. In this case, probably an eight to 12 pounder. And then this incrustation, which is basically 300 years of growth on that cannonball is broken off and then the cannonball is stabilized. This is what incrustation of iron looks like coming off of an Atocha cannonball. We have smaller pieces of this available. This is a rather larger piece right there. That's it. That concludes today's video on this historic day after the 36th finding, July 20th, 1985, of the Atocha. One last time so that you don't have to rewind. The first people who call, let me know which coin you're interested in. The telephone number, 702-374-2148. Atocha Dave, out. treasure. done.